Hello YouTubers, David Wood here once again for EverythingEffects.tk with another GIMP tutorial. And in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create fireworks. And it looks really, really nice and it will have a cool outcome. Okay, so the first thing to do is we've got GIMP open here, create a new document, and we need a nice big size. So we'll pick 800 by 600 and then we'll just make it a square document by changing 600 to 800 click OK there it is now we need to go to edit fill with foreground color which should be set to black and from here we have to select this ellipse select tool or hit the letter E on your keyboard and that will switch to it now we find the center of the document, which is right about there, and we can drag. And hold down the shift key and the control key to drag perfectly out from the center. And we can make it about the size of the document right there. Okay, now from here we go to filter, noise, HSV noise. And we want to take this slider here, the value, and bring that up. You can bring it up as high as you want. So I'll bring it all the way up. That works. Okay. And you can see we've got noise inside of the circle here, which is what we want. We can also go to filter, blur, blur. That will just blur it a little bit, then go to color, levels, and take the middle slider over and take the white one up. Let's see right about there. That looks good. We'll click OK. Now we can go to select none. And now we go to filter, distort, polar coordinates. And when this comes up, we want to uncheck this box here, this two polar, and click OK. Now once that's done, we go to Layer, Transform, Rotate 90 degrees clockwise, and then Filters, Distorts, Wind. And we want the wind to blow in the left direction and we can change the strength and the threshold and we'll click OK now that that is done we go to layer transform rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise now we can go to filters distorts polar coordinates again and this time we will recheck the box to polar and click OK. And there it is. But it, it filled in this area which should have been left blank. It should have had an alpha channel. It filled it in with white. So we'll just grab the bucket tool and fill that in. And that looks good. Then we can go to colors, levels, and take the middle slider over and the white one the other way. Just a slight bit. There we go. Click OK. And now we can duplicate the layer by right clicking and choosing duplicate or by hitting this center button here. We'll set the blend mode to add. We'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and give it a blur of 10. So there is a slight glow around the sparks here. We can duplicate it again, go to filter, reshow Gaussian blur, and blur it another 10 pixels. Now we want to right click any of the images and pick flatten image. Now we can go to colors, color balance, and we'll make a red firework, or works. Is there a plural? I have absolutely no idea. Okay, we'll make it red, so 
adjust the settings accordingly to get red. Click OK. We can go to 100%. That looks pretty sweet. You can duplicate it once more. Set the blend mode to screen. Or maybe add. Yep, add looks really, really cool. And we'll merge that down too. Now the firework is ready to be put into a scene. And I have a picture of a scene right here. So generally you can grab or select the fireworks picture and over in the layers you can drag it into the scene but Camtasia is interfering with that so what I have to do is go to select all and then go to edit copy then I can go into the night scene here go to edit paste and there's the picture so far right now it's just floating around we can move it around scale it whatever we want to do we'll change the blend mode to uh, screen or add depending on how you like that and we'll scale it down uh, so select the scale click on it uh, make sure this little chain here is connected it's linked and we'll make this instead we'll go with 450 and click scale and there it is then we can move it around So put it up in here okay well that's it for this tutorial you can just you know continue positioning it where you want it you know go through the different blend modes and when you're done you can just right click and choose anchor layer and that's all there is to it okay so, make sure to go to our website, everythingeffects.tk, and to check out all our tutorials. We've got After Effects, Vegas, Blender, and GIMP tutorials. And make sure to subscribe, and to subscribe to my channel, uh, David Wood FX. And that wraps this tutorial up. Okay, so I'm David Wood, your host, and I'll see you next time.